Tonight in a News 3 exclusive, we speak with the Auburn police officer who saved a man's life while on his lunch break. As News 3's Elizabeth White reports, this veteran officer hopes by sharing the story, others will feel encouraged to get first aid training so they can save a life too. Mm -hmm. What year did he start? 1986. 35 years as an Auburn peace officer, Captain Lorenzo Dorsey is a good man to have around in an emergency. Last Wednesday while eating lunch in uniform. And I could see that there was a gentleman there that apparently choking. There was a gentleman behind him trying to do the Heimlich maneuver on him and it wasn't working. He was still choking. It was a crisis. Uh, you know, I could just tell by his face, tell by his wife's face. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't going well. They were and scared. they were very scared. And uh, when I took over, you know, my thing was is that I'm, I'm just not going to give up on this. I'm going to continue. And like I said, about the third time, uh, you know, it came out and he was able to recover and, uh, and you know, restored his airway. Come up to them. Are you choking? Are you choking? They're not going to be able to respond to you. They'll more than likely shake their head or something like that. You can also see there might be a blue color uh, in their lips or their fingertips or something. Auburn like that. firefighter so and advanced DMT that. Justin Farmer demonstrates the maneuver, saying the Heimlich should only be used if the airway is completely blocked. Get them to stand up if they're able to. They're going to bend forward just a little bit. You're going to take your thumb, inner side, you're going to go above their belly button below their ribs. Take your other hand over cross. They're going to be bent over, and what you're going to do is you're going to push up in fast towards their diaphragm up underneath their ribs. So it's going to be a very quick up and in. Anyone can save a life really by learning CPR and, and the Heimlich from a trained professional. I'm just so happy and grateful that, you know, he's fine. Please reach out to your local fire department for more information. Reporting in Auburn, Elizabeth White, WRBL News 3, on your side.